the Galactic Empire, a vast and advanced civilization, was always on the lookout for new resources to fuel its relentless expansion. Known for their superior technology and aggressive pursuit of domination, they had successfully integrated countless planets into their empire. When they turned their gaze toward Earth, they saw a seemingly primitive planet rich in natural resources, ripe for the taking. Confident in their superiority, the Empire decided to send covert missions to assess Earth's vulnerabilities and extract valuable resources. The initial plan was straightforward, deploy a small reconnaissance ship to gather data on Earth's defenses and technological capabilities. The first mission saw a sleek reconnaissance vessel approach Earth under the cover of darkness. The ship scanned the planet's atmosphere, noting what appeared to be unprotected skies and a population blissfully unaware of extraterrestrial threats. However, as the ship began its descent, it suddenly vanished from the Empire's radar, leaving no trace behind. This disappearance puzzled the Imperial Command, but they dismissed it as a rare malfunction. Undeterred, the Empire launched a second mission, this time sending a larger, more advanced ship equipped with cloaking technology. As it neared Earth, the crew began their data collection, but their confidence quickly turned to alarm. Out of nowhere, powerful energy beams shot up from the planet's surface, piercing their cloaking field and disabling their ship's systems. Before they could react, the vessel was obliterated. Realizing that Earth's defenses were more sophisticated than anticipated, the Empire decided to test different entry points. A fleet of smaller ships was dispatched each targeting various regions of the planet. The plan was to overwhelm any defenses through sheer numbers. However, this strategy also met with catastrophic failure. Each ship, regardless of its approach, encountered highly coordinated and devastating counterattacks. Advanced energy weapons and impenetrable force fields neutralized the fleet systematically. The Empire's concern grew with each failed mission. The realization set in that Earth was not the primitive, undefended planet they had assumed. Something far more advanced was at play, protecting the planet from their incursions. The Empire's initial confidence began to wane as they faced the daunting prospect of an unknown and formidable defense system that defied their expectations and threatened their expansionist ambitions. Empire scientists and strategists gathered to review the mission data from their failed attempts to infiltrate Earth. Analyzing the telemetry and communications logs, they discovered distinct patterns in the attacks. The targeting was precise, and the response times were unnervingly rapid. It became clear that Earth's defense systems were sophisticated, far beyond what the Empire had initially anticipated. This led to a new hypothesis. Earth's defenses were not only advanced but also highly adaptive and potentially autonomous. Determined to uncover the truth, the Empire deployed deep space probes and long-range scanners aimed at Earth's orbit and surface. These instruments soon detected a complex network of hidden satellites and ground-based defense systems. The satellites were equipped with energy weapons and jamming devices, while ground stations appeared to house powerful force field generators and missile arrays. This network was intricately linked, suggesting a high level of coordination and technological sophistication. Speculation about the origins of this technology ran wild among the Empire's experts. Some theorized that an ancient, highly advanced civilization might have allied with Earth, leaving behind powerful artifacts and defense mechanisms. Others posited that humans themselves had secretly developed these technologies, hidden from the rest of the galaxy. The possibility of such rapid technological advancement by humans was both intriguing and alarming. Historical records were scoured for any clues about ancient alliances or forgotten civilizations. Reports surfaced of an advanced species that had once roamed the galaxy, known for their protective measures over nascent civilizations. This species, according to legend, had placed powerful defensive technologies on certain planets deemed crucial for the future of the galaxy. Earth, it seemed, might have been one of these planets. Additionally, the Empire examined recent human history and technological progress. Over the last century, humans had made significant strides in various scientific fields, from quantum mechanics to artificial intelligence. These advancements, combined with possible remnants of ancient technology, could explain the formidable defenses now protecting Earth. The Empire began to connect the dots, 
realizing that Earth's seemingly primitive facade hid a much more complex and dangerous reality. The Empire's realization was profound. Earth was not just a primitive planet with basic defenses. It was a well-protected world, guarded by advanced technology that posed a serious threat to any would-be invaders. This newfound respect for Earth's capabilities forced the Empire to reconsider its approach, understanding that any attempt to conquer or exploit this planet would come at a high cost and significant risk. The Empire's strategic analysts convened to examine Earth's location within the galaxy. They noted that Earth was situated near several key trade routes and interstellar pathways, making it a significant point of interest. Its position served as a potential gateway or choke point in galactic politics, giving it strategic importance far beyond its apparent resources. Control over Earth could influence major trade flows and provide tactical advantages in any galactic conflicts. The military brass of the Empire met to debate the implications of Earth's defenses. They considered various scenarios, including Earth as an ally, a neutral party, or an outright enemy. Each scenario had its own set of challenges and opportunities. If Earth were to become an ally, the Empire could gain access to its advanced defense technologies and strategic location. As a neutral party, Earth would remain an independent entity, potentially offering benefits through trade and cooperation. However, if Earth were an enemy, the Empire would face a formidable opponent with the capability to disrupt their expansion plans significantly. To evaluate the feasibility of an invasion, the Empire conducted simulations of an all-out assault on Earth. The results were grim. The simulations predicted heavy losses, with the advanced defenses of Earth inflicting severe damage on the invading forces. The long-term consequences of such a conflict would drain the Empire's resources and weaken its standing in the galaxy. The military leaders concluded that any attempt to conquer Earth would be too costly and risky, potentially leading to a prolonged and unwinnable conflict. The discussions then turned to diplomatic considerations. Various potential approaches were debated, including forming alliances, negotiating treaties, and establishing non-aggression pacts. The analysts highlighted the value of Earth as a strategic partner versus a conquered territory. An alliance with Earth could bring technological advancements and strengthen the Empire's position in the galaxy. Treaties and non-aggression pacts would ensure peaceful coexistence and mutual benefit. Ultimately, the decision was made to respect Earth's sovereignty. The Empire recognized that any aggressive action could provoke a larger conflict, destabilizing the region and inviting intervention from other advanced civilizations. By choosing diplomacy over aggression, the Empire aimed to build a cooperative relationship with Earth, leveraging its strategic importance and advanced defenses to foster a more stable and prosperous galactic community. The Empire's leadership made a formal announcement declaring Earth as off-limits. The message emphasized a newfound respect for Earth's formidable defenses and hinted at its potential as a valuable future ally. The decision was met with mixed reactions both publicly and internally. Some within the Empire felt frustration over the lost opportunity to exploit Earth's resources, while others felt relief, recognizing the wisdom in avoiding a costly conflict. The strategic communication underscored the importance of respecting Earth's sovereignty, framing it as a decision made from a position of strength and foresight. On Earth, governments received the Empire's declaration with a mix of caution and relief. The public was informed of some, but not all, aspects of their defense capabilities, ensuring that the Empire knew they were not to be underestimated while keeping certain strategic advantages secret. Governments began preparing for any future encounters by further strengthening their defenses and establishing diplomatic channels. The reaction among the global population was varied. Many felt a sense of pride in their planet's resilience and the recognition it had gained, while others remained vigilant understanding that this newfound attention from the galaxy brought both opportunities and risks. Efforts to build a new relationship between Earth and the Galactic Empire began with cautious optimism. Diplomatic overtures were made, leading to small but significant exchanges of culture, technology, and information. These initial interactions were designed to foster mutual respect and understanding, highlighting the strengths and values of each civilization. As trust slowly grew, Plans for more extensive cooperation were discussed, 
including joint scientific missions to explore shared interests, the development of shared defense strategies to ensure mutual security, and cultural exchanges to deepen the bond between their peoples. These steps towards collaboration mark the beginning of a new era in interstellar relations, where mutual respect and understanding laid the foundation for a potentially prosperous and peaceful coexistence. The groundwork was set for a partnership that could bring about significant advancements and stability in the galaxy, proving that respect for sovereignty and strategic diplomacy could yield far greater benefits than conflict and conquest. The Empire reflected deeply on their failed missions to Earth, and the valuable lessons learned. They acknowledged their initial arrogance and underestimation of Earth's capabilities, realizing that true strength often lies hidden beneath the surface. These experiences highlighted the necessity of humility and respect when engaging with other civilizations. On Earth, humans contemplated their newfound status in the galaxy. The recognition and respect they had earned altered their self-perception and place in the universe. This episode underscored the importance of understanding and cooperation in interstellar relations, fostering a sense of pride and vigilance. Looking ahead, both Earth and the Empire outlined long-term plans for collaboration. They saw immense potential in exploring new technologies together, from advanced medical treatments to sustainable energy sources. Mutual defense pacts were also on the table, ensuring that both parties could rely on each other for security. The Empire began integrating the lessons learned from their encounters with Earth into their broader strategies, emphasizing the value of respecting the sovereignty and strength of all civilizations they encountered. Meanwhile, Earth's status continued to rise, becoming a respected member of the galactic community. This recognition opened doors to new alliances and opportunities for growth and cooperation. In closing, the narrator reflects on the remarkable journey both Earth and the Empire have undertaken. The encounters and challenges faced have forged strong bonds and imparted lasting lessons about strength, resilience, and the power of unity in diversity. The story's moral is clear. Mutual respect and understanding can bridge even the widest gaps, transforming potential conflict into cooperation. The narrator leaves the audience with a hopeful message, encouraging continued exploration and fostering relationships built on these timeless principles. The future holds endless possibilities for those willing to learn and grow together, facing the unknown with courage and respect.